Welcome everybody to Sunshine House. It's X week here at Sunshine House. We'll be talking about our friend Fox. We're going to talk about boxes. We're going to talk about road construction or construction in general. Um, bridges, roads, tunnels. It's going to be a very active week here. Um, let's do our jingle. X says X as in Fox. My pretty tail is like your locks. It's a good opportunity to talk about a vocabulary word. What is locks. So we all have locks, right? Some of our locks are short, some of us are long, some of us are curly, some straight, blonde or yellow, black, brown, brunette, all those key words. So that's a great language about curly locks. Okay, as you know, not everything is done inside. We're, uh, we're going to be taking the children outdoors and we're talking about tunnels and we have a big old great sandbox out here and I'll let the children use their imagination in building big tunnels and putting water through them, making bridges and you know put, making the cars go over the bridge and lots and lots of ideas that the kids you know will bring up and just letting that imagination run wild. Uh, also we have, um, we're talking about construction and uh, just uh, different machinery that is used for construction, such as, uh, you know, what we take to uh, carry rocks and, or move sand, or uh, the machine that, you know, climbs to uh, help people bring things up way up high when they're making a big building. And also, it is a matching game. So ah. Okay, I see excavator, yeah. bobcat, dump truck. So, so some of them are familiar, are familiar with some of them yeah. not so. And not yeah. all the kids, you know, know this machine, so it's a good way of letting them um, see and see how they look. Yeah. yeah. So for circle, we're going to be doing chalk talk. What it is is I'll get a chalk on a well I'll get a marker on a piece of paper and we'll be doing Roxy the Fox and as I start reading to them what foxes are and what they look like I'll start with I have pointed ears and a pointed nose and I'll kind of keep going and as I'm reading to them what foxes look like at the end of the story they'll actually have Roxy the Fox and we'll leave the paper out for them to decorate in color you know they might draw another animal in the background or maybe the fox has you know a mouse friend or something you know they'll get creative and they'll draw on the fox which is really fun for them another activity we're doing is our X cards all right ladies what are they they start to have an X in them fox X fox, fox six Ox. 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 Yes, it's very fun for them to learn. You know, not a lot of children know what oxes are, so... They'll hear a, the X sound in all of yeah. those words. And it's a new animal for them, so they'll really be <laughs> interested. A fun book for them this week will be The Fox in the Dark. It's about another fox, which is a really fun book. Pretty pictures. Very, lots of color in the pictures. You know, they'll learn new words like rat-a-tat-tat. New sounds to them. You know what the fox sees. You know how big he is compared to his friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know, and you know, moms and babies with them. So it's a really fun book for foxes and children. Yeah. For our so other circle time, we will be using our ball to do the ball name game with our children. So we'll be rolling the ball to the children. They say their name, and then they roll it back to me. And we'll do that game with the children at the beginning of our circle time. Um, it's for Bridges, Roads, and Tunnels Day. We're going to be using our own tunnel at Sunshine House, and we're going to bring this out. And we're going to have the children pretend to go through a real tunnel at Sunshine okay. House. So like under bridges, or where do we see tunnels at? Um, when you're driving by, this is how it seems when you're driving through a tunnel. So we're going to pretend to do to do that, <clears throat> crawling through tunnels. We're going to also have a book that's called I Love You, Little One. And this is for our younger children, and it's one of the, our hard book books about it, and animals, and about how <clears throat> love is how love is important with um, children and adults and also animals. So it talks about how other animals love each other and how caring is very important to show for children too. So there you go. Very nice circle. Um, another great <clears throat> circle that we have planned this week um, is has to do with the baby animal stories. Um, we have these for every one of our puppets, so your child's probably used to hearing about them. They could probably tell you about it. So this week, of course, we're going to read about the baby fox. 
And what's great for them is um, it introduces them to lots of vocabulary, like they talk about how foxes live in dens um, and, um, and things that foxes do, like hunt and things like that. So it talks about how the mom and dad hunt for the uh, pups, which is another thing that they call the babies, um, and until they can hunt for themselves. So it's just fun for them to learn about um, some of the vocabulary of a fox and um, the and what, life of a fox. Life of what the fox. real life of yeah. a fox is yeah. and how they And the books live. are helpful too because they promote listening skills because at the end there's a few questions, questions yeah. that you want the children to understand yeah. what, what they reading, just heard. what they took from it Definitely. answer the questions. Yeah, so. it's good to ask some questions and see what they actually picked up from it. Um, and then something really cool that we're doing is um, a yoga, um, yoga fox. And so Ooh. I'm going to have the children, um, I'm going to read out these kind of different directions that involve movements. And it kind of starts up with them curled up um, on the ground in a ball, um, like a fox would be curled up sleeping. So they'll uh, mimic that movement. And then they open their eyes and lift their head. And it goes all the way to their walking, which will be on their hands and knees. Um, and then also um, walking over to other fox. Um, um, and then doing nods and sniffs and yips and nuzzles, so a lot of uh, specific vocabulary that maybe they've not heard before, but are things that foxes actually do. And so not only are they learning new vocabulary, but they're stretching out their bodies and they're using full body movement, which is really awesome. It's not just one, one part of their body. So I think that they'll really enjoy it this week. And then we're also going to read a story, A isn't for fox. And this is actually um, an alphabet book. And so it's really great because it's another way for them to um, hear the alphabet and learn the alphabet besides the alphabet song. Um, so it talks about each letter and um, some cute little saying like M is for a moose in a red checkered hat. So they'll hear the letter and then they'll also hear an animal or something that starts with the letter like M for moose and then something silly that will help them remember it. So I think that they'll really enjoy um, hearing the alphabet in this book. And that's it for my circle. Sounds like it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. um, and for art, since um, we are talking <laughs> about building and we're talking about roads and tunnels and things like that, um, we need your guys' help, the parents out there. If you could please bring in boxes of all shapes and sizes um, with lids or no lids, um, however many you want to bring in would be helpful because for a group art activity, we're going to be putting together the boxes that all come in and um, taping them together, maybe moving them a little bit um, on the side, and we're going to be decorating them. So we're going to use paints, we're going to use um, tissue paper, we're going to use all different kinds of things that we have here at Sunshine House to make a fun building. So be looking out for that. It'll be um, displayed um, in our center. and. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Also, another fun <laughs> art activity is that the children are going to get some popsicle sticks, um, different shapes and different colors, and they're going to get to build their own building with some popsicle sticks. And we also have some glue here, so they'll get to, you know, put glue on their popsicle stick, and let's see what, you know, they can make. Are they going to put it together this way? Are they going to stack them all together? What are they going to make um, and build or create? And um, be looking out for that, and um, it'll be a lot of fun. So that goes with our Well, thank you guys for coming. It's been a great week here at Sunshine House. And enjoy um, the week. And don't forget to bring those boxes. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>